Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to honor America and with dedication to all the men and women now serving in the armed forces of the United States and place themselves in harm's way every day. Please welcome here to sing the national anthem, Grammy Award winning recording superstar, Chris Brown. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright star through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reglare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet away Oh, the land of the free and the home of the for Floyd Mayweather against Shane Mosley. And you see the five-year age advantage for Mayweather. Both fighters passed the 30-year mark. A one-inch height advantage for Sugar Shane. Arm length advantage of two and a half inches for Floyd Mayweather, measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. They both weighed in at or one pound under the welterweight limit. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Floyd Mayweather Jr. Shane Mosley fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. A case of cut is caused by an accidental headbutt. We go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell at any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. <laughs> Mosley with Nassim Richardson just over his corner. There's the record at welterweight, which began with the wins over Rivera and De La Hoya all the way back in 1992. Two of the three losses at this weight level were to Vernon Forrest, same man who defeated him at the Olympic trials back in 1992. And then the third loss to Miguel Cotto in a very close fight at Madison Square Garden at the end of 2007. There's a video played in the arena to orient fans to Mosley's great career. A pure prize fighter who from the age of about 12 has been a figure on the American scene, Emmanuel Stewart. I mean, despite the fact that he didn't go to the Olympics in 92 with his buddy Oscar De La Hoya, he had one of the great amateur careers at that time. And a brilliant amateur career, and that's what's so beautiful about this fight. You have Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather Jr., both who started boxing really probably at the age of five. So they've been in boxing all of their lives, so you can't even ask them, when did you start boxing? They say, well, when I went to school, I mean, you, they've been boxing all of their lives. They're both very intelligent, too. Under the ring, Sugar Shane Mosley! Crowd will respond to Sugar Shane as they will respond to Mayweather. Different, it's, it's almost impossible to dislike Shane. 
because he is so friendly, so warm, so open. So often his personality is completely the opposite of what you expect from a veteran prize fighter. Yeah, when a lot of fighters get to this stage, this moment, the big super fight, all of this excitement, the crowd, they freeze, they lose it. And that's why some fighters are born to perform. And we have two tonight who love being in this position. And what an amazing moment for Nassim Richardson, who a few years ago suffered a stroke so debilitating that it robbed him of all movement and speed on the right side of his body. At that moment, it looked as though it would be impossible for Nassim Richardson to ever go through a full training camp and train a fighter again. It's an almost superhuman comeback that Richardson has made to get to this point. And then for this to be really his almost um, getting to be his signature fight, this is the first time that he's been in the papers, quoted on the internet somewhere, and more so even than his fighter. You know, he basically just got on the scene with the last fight when he fought with uh, Margarita, but this is the fight where he's really getting a chance to get his recognition. So there are two great human stories in the Mosley corner. But nevertheless, he is a big underdog tonight, just well, as he was last January against Antonio Margarito. What is remarkable about Mosley, and distinctive, is that he's one of the few fighters I've ever known in the lower weight classes who, as a veteran, 38 years old, still fighting in virtually the same aggressive style as he did when he was in his 20s. He's not one of those veteran fighters who decides that instead of walking through the fire, I'm going to tiptoe around it. You're right, Larry. Most fighters, as they get older, they become more defensive-minded. And if Richardson weren't a good story, or a good enough story, Mosley's cut man tonight is the elegant Jimmy Glenn, who is approaching the age of 90 and can still get it done. Now here comes Floyd Mayweather. At 33, it doesn't seem appropriate anymore to call him Pretty Boy Floyd. But what he does in the ring, from a boxing purist standpoint, is more than pretty. It's beautiful. Floyd Mayweather Sr. dressed up as always, this time in a three-piece get-up. Is, is that fur or velvet? Hard to tell. Floyd Mayweather has been told that it's time and a request has been made for him to leave the locker room, but so far, not ready. Brings a smile to the face of Leonard Ellerby. One of those self-made self men who uh, worships his creator. Seated there next to Mayweather is former Olympic heavyweight Nate Jones, and he credits Floyd with having helped to save his life. Yeah, they became very good friends during the 1996 Olympics when they were teammates. That's and, right. And Floyd that, was uh, yeah. in Atlanta as uh, the member, the star member of the U.S. Olympic boxing team then. Yes, he was a 125-pounder, and no, uh, Jones uh, fought at, uh, as a heavyweight, and that relationship has endured since then. And, uh, he didn't make it as a professional fighter, meaning Jones, and he had problems. No, 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 all in. So Floyd hired him, gave him a job with him, and he's been with Floyd since then. Well, Nate, for his part, says he had trouble with both clinical depression and alcoholism, and he credits Floyd with having helped to rescue him from both of those difficulties. The buildup continues inside the arena, and Shane Mosley is waiting in the ring. So, what's the implication, Emmanuel, of Mosley standing here waiting in the ring? Well, I, I uh, think, Floyd I, continues to burn time. I'll be honest. I think this is a part of not just a plan to uh, upset his opponent. He really had to have his music and everything in place before he comes on. You'd be surprised how these fighters are about to walk in music. They wanted everything to be right and timed properly, the whole fireworks and everything, before he makes his super grand entrance. It certainly isn't analogous to the moment 
June 27, 1988, when Michael Spinks appeared not to want to exit his dressing room <laughs> to fight Mike Tyson in Atlantic City. That was a different story. And hey, we're getting some good rhythm and blues in the ring now. Floyd has decided to have us serenaded with classic R&B tonight. This is the OJs. I mean, I know about This is the real OJs. The, the honest to God OJs in the ring. They're doing their thing. Money. He must have wanted to give them time to get get on and get do their little show a little bit before he made his entrance. Do things, do things, do things. It's money time. Coming to the ring, fly. Money. <laughs> Mayweather makes his way into the ring. And Larry does appear to be fur with the red leather. There's a look at some of his notable wins. Hard to choose a best performance, so many of them have been so good. Although maybe the six knockdown annihilation of Diego Corrales was the one that most caught your eye. Let's take uh, let's take it up to Michael Buffer in the ring now for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Mayweather Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions are proud to present the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza con Character. AT&T Go Phone, unlimited talk and text for $60 a month. StubHub, where fans buy and sell tickets. DeWalt Tools, guaranteed tough. And the motion picture Iron Man 2 in theaters Friday, May 7th. This bout dedicated to the memory of Arthur McCanty and Lorraine Shargan. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, yes, Chairperson Pat Lundvall, Executive Director Keith Kaiser. At ringside, the three judges scoring the bout, Adelaide Bird, Robert Hoyle, and Dave Moretti. And inside the ring, the man in charge of the action at the bell, referee Kenny Bayless. And now, for the tens of millions around the world, and the tens of thousands here in attendance, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner with head trainer brother Nazim Richardson, wearing black with aqua, official weight 147 pounds, professional record 46 victories, including 39 knockouts, with five defeats and one no decision. From Pomona, California, the former lightweight world champion, former junior middleweight world champion, and the current three-time welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Shea. And fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Roger Mayweather, wearing red and black, officially weighing in at 146 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 40 fights, 40 victories, including 25 knockouts. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the former junior lightweight 
former lightweight, former super lightweight, former welterweight, and former super welterweight champion of the world, Floyd Money. Okay, gentlemen, we okay here? We're okay here. Okay. Now, Shane Floyd, okay. you went over the rules in the dressing room. Okay. I expect a clean, tough fight. Obey my commands at all times. Okay. What I say, you must obey. Good luck, touch him up. Right. Floyd Mayweather is usually the most exciting fighter before the first bell. Shane Mosley after the first bell. What are we going to get tonight? Round one begins. And an immediate question is, will Shane try to apply pressure? Or will Shane read Mayweather for a while and box? Most believe that he will try to pressure Mayweather and immediately get him into a physical fight. And it starts with a couple of little body shots inside by Mosley. Jabbing to the body. Work out, work out, work out. Come on, work out, fellas. Stop, stop, step back clean. There you go. Mayweather with his left hand below his waist. Fights in a very loose, fluid style. Used his jab much more in his last assignment against Marquez than has normally been the case. Mosley starting out with the jab to the body. Watch out! Stop, stop, stop! Let him at, this, at this Let's stage right here, Nobody's really made any contact, but Floyd's punches seem to be a little bit crisper and have a little stop, bit stop. more power. Uh, Moses seems to be a little weak, a little, little bit looser with his coordination. Well, Mayweather, as usual, looks very relaxed, and that's part of what helps him to be so quick. And there's that right hand counter punch over the top, which is his best offensive weapon. No, 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 no. Mosley's glove touches the canvas. Kenny Bayless rules it a slip. Mosley was trying to land a big right hand across the top. He wants to touch gloves. Mayweather wants to punch. Mayweather gives the appearance of wanting to fight toe to toe. But of course, he's very good defensively at close quarters as well as from a distance. Mosley got a jab to Mayweather's chin. First real connect. No, 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 no. But, stop, but Shane stop, looks stop wound up though. and tight. Watch wound hands. up and tight. And actually, surprising me, Floyd looks physically stronger to me. Looks a little younger and better coordinated and stronger. Well, some of that is just the sheer relaxation, right, Emmanuel? No, he just physically, no, he just, his body's just much, 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 much more firmer and compact. Jab by Mayweather. And you're right, he is a lot more relaxed than Shane is. Stop, 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 stop. Let him up. That's almost to be expected. Mayweather recently has been in this position more often. Shane wanted this so badly. It's hard to imagine a fighter in more of a want-to position than Shane tonight. And that means passion, but it can also mean being pent up. Mosley going back to the body with his jab. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch out, watch out, watch out. was mostly a war of nerves. Mayweather had fewer nerves. Georgian, here we are. Everything's good. Everything's good. Just put the bucket in the side here for me. Everything's good. I need you to just settle down a little bit. That's all. Everything else is good. The stick is there. When you touch him, he's trying to touch you back underneath. That's why I need you. Add that faint. Don't forget my legs. I need the split bucket up here at the, at the top. I need 
That's the whole thing. He keeps stepping with his teeth, keep counting his ass. He don't know how to get into you, that's why. Now I get to you. You control him with your hands too. Here you see Mosley throw a punch at right hand, barely missed the right hand and lost his balance. And you know, this nobody's made that much of a solid contact in the entire round. But uh, still, when the fighter starts slipping and falling, it kind of makes me feel that something is not as good as it should be in terms of the coordination. They only threw 57 punches total in round one. Mayweather landed seven out of 23, Mosley 11 out of 34. Harold Letterman gave the first round to Sugar Chain. I didn't see much of anything happening in the first round, frankly. I called it even. Don't push, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They're standing close enough to punch, but not doing much of it. Shane is usually a little bit more aggressive, but I think the feints and the hand speed of Mayweather's got him a little hesitant about coming in with the speed that he normally comes in with. Well, you heard Nassim no, no, Richardson no, 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 between no, rounds saying, I down. need you to don't settle down. down. Yeah, Touching on the point we made in the first round. Yeah. He looks wound up and tight. Very, There's a hard right hand. And that may be the hardest punch that Floyd Mayweather has taken in recent years. He's, he's smiling about it, but Shane Mosley landed a right cross, and crunchingly so. Mayweather's trying to ward him off. Mosley's trying to follow up. On the same right hand that he missed with earlier and fell down, he landed at that time. It was timing. He but threw it at just the right moment. There's another right hand. Shane Mosley has brought the crowd into the fight. It's very rare that we've seen Mayweather get hit by a right hand the way he holds his head behind his shoulder. Mosley's loosening up. The crowd is coming alive, and we've got to fight for a moment here. Mosley, 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 another big right hand. Mayweather's knees buckled on the second right hand. Mosley drives him into the ropes, tries to go to the body. Mayweather defending well as always. He's not really hurt. He tried to feign it a little bit. I think he's hurt. He's going to hit in his legs. The legs don't lie. His balance he's, isn't he's as good as normal. He's hurt. And, and, but he's doing one thing smart. He's tying his man up. No, he's hurt. Not sure what Kenny Bayless said. Shane Mosley responded to it. This tent is Mosley, Mosley, Mosley. Hard body shot by Sugar Shane. Two good left hand counters by, or left hand hooks, I should say, by Mayweather. And now he lands the right hand. Work out, work out, fellas. Work out, work out. The scoring of round one now becomes very interesting because if the judges agreed with Harold Letterman and gave round one to Mosley, then Mayweather may suddenly be two rounds down on the scorecard. Yeah, you see the right hand that landed, the, the first one that got him in trouble, right on the chin, jab to the stomach and right hand to the chin. That's what started the problems. And then later on you see him land another right hand, not so clean, but it, it landed just enough to hurt him because of the fact that he was already dizzy, right at the temple area. Almost panic in Mayweather's corner. Everyone saying to him, box him, box him. Why are you fighting this fight? As we, as we mentioned earlier, they were standing very close to each other as though Mayweather has got something to prove here. There was a little grin on Mayweather's face between rounds. It looked almost like a look of embarrassment that he had gotten hit that way. Mayweather 11 out of 26 in the round, Mosley 18 out of 47. The big number is he threw 47 punches. Watch the glove, watch the glove, watch the glove. Watch the glove, okay, here we go. Probably behind a couple of rounds, maybe. 
I think he still looks much stronger to me and more, more coordinated than Shane. Well, I don't think there's any question that he's a better boxer than Shane Mosley. No, but he's not boxing. He's actually fighting him. I think he just physically should raise him how strong he is looking. At him. He's really not boxing. He's wanting, he wants to get in and fight with him. There's the fighting, and now he lands a chopping right hand after his left hook. Mosley, showing his competitive spirit, wants to get back. Another right hand for Mayweather, who's coming back well from the difficulty of round two. Round three has belonged to Floyd. But uh, Shane seems to be very jittering, seems to be having a problem dealing with Floyd's speed. Work out, fellas. Work out, work out, work out. Mayweather probably surprised. I'm sorry, stop, Mosley stop, probably stop, surprised stop, 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 that Mayweather is, right, here we go. is the aggressor. Definitely Floyd has changed it up in this round. And I think it shows you his competitive response. I think he was embarrassed that he got hit by a right hand in round two. And he wanted to dominate this round. Oh, no, stop! blocking the left hook there. We're back to the war of nerves. As Mayweather has made an adjustment, and now Mosley seems to be trying to figure out how to deal with that adjustment. Floyd has had an accurate punching round. has again become something of a mystery no, 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 for Mosley in this round. He's hesitant, punching, jabbing to the body because he can't seem to find anything else to do as Mayweather has turned the momentum around. behind that jab, you'll be able to turn the hook off of that jab, drop that right in. And when he starts that crossover, we told you that step, step over, we worked on that, Shane. We got that ready. But I don't want you second guessing yourself. Stay behind your speed. Stop looking to hurt him. It's gonna come, Shane. It's gonna come. Stop looking to hurt him. Stay behind your speed. That's the difference. We discussed this, son. Hey, look, look, the main thing you gotta do is keep working with that stick. That stick. Hey, one more water? Keep your head thinking. Keep thinking. Keep painting. Keep painting. Keep thinking. Main thing you gotta use that. Keep Mayweather wants Floyd Mayweather to keep jabbing, keep painting, keep boxing. Now, see, Richardson wants Shane Mosley to relax, stay behind his speed, and not try to go for a knockout. Just simply try to land punches and box. Harold, how do you have it through three? I'll get you. Two rounds to one, 29, 28, Sugar Shane Mosley. Jim, in round one, I thought Mosley led to the clean, effective shots with that left, you know, the left jab to the body. In round two, Mosley won it big. He led to the power shots. But in round three, Floyd Bay with a plant at his feet, we throw the left jab and then that hard right hand. And I mean hard right hand. There's a lot of power. Get him off first. Either he gets off with a left hook or he gets off with a straight right. Two to one, Shane Mosley. Mosley has produced some fireworks against Mayweather. Mayweather watchers yeah. will remember that a few years ago here in Las Vegas, Zab Judah got in some shots in the first three rounds before he was effectively subdued by Mayweather's defense in the middle rounds. And then late in the fight, Mayweather was toying with him, landing his right hand over the top. Of Will. One of Let's the most see what happens to Mosley. One of the most effective punches I thought that Shane would be utilizing a lot more would be his left jab. But he's not jabbing that much. And therefore, actually, Mayweather's out jabbing him for the most part, even though he doesn't jab that much, but Shane should be working his jab a lot more. Is it because Mayweather's been able to counter his jab? 
I don't know, whatever it is, but he's not, he hasn't been throwing it that much. And just the, the speed of Mayweather in his head and his physical strength is just still amazing me. And Shane is looking old to me. His body doesn't have that tone, and his punches doesn't have that the, uh, the power. And Floyd is fighting more offensively at this stage of the fight than is usually the case. Particularly, he stepped it up in round three to respond to Mosley's assault with a couple of right hands in round two. I think, Jim, that's because he believes he's the superior boxer and that he can capitalize on Mosley's mistakes or, sl or slowness. And that's why he's staying as close to him as he is. Hard right hand by Mayweather. I don't believe that punch landed, but he is. Uh, whatever whatever Mosey was expecting, I doubt it was this. For whatever reason, Mosley is no longer throwing much. No, he's actually fighting Mayweather style now. A lot of faint hesitation, jerky moves, and that is what Floyd wanted. Floyd has got him fighting well, right in the mode that he wants. That, you know, when, when fighters are used to being the fastest guy in the ring, and then they come up against a fighter who is as fast or faster, it changes everything. And maybe that's what it's changing in Mosley. They keep doing what you're doing. Got to be in boxing skill for that motherfucker. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that motherfucker on the end of that jab. You can't do shit. You can't do nothing. That third level, I need you to let his hands go in the middle. All right, touch your chin, let those hands go in the middle. Take that angle off for him. All right, we worked on this, Shank. Don't hesitate with it. Put that stick in there, baby. Take the angle. Here you see Shane coming in with his body in a position where it shouldn't be really. And, in, and he's getting called a right hand by Floyd right over his low left shoulder. One of the few clean punches that landed that round. Copy box numbers in the round. Mayweather 12 out of 31. Mosley 9 out of 32. I, that, that surprises me. I don't know that I saw Mosley throw 32 punches in that round, but maybe I wasn't looking carefully enough. Oh, excuse me. That was the average. That was the average through round four. Average Mayweather 12 out of 31, Mosley 9 out of 32, and that further underlines your point, Emmanuel, that Mosley is fighting Mayweather's fight. Yes, he's fighting the volume of punches is down, and Mayweather's a much more accurate pinpoint puncher when you're fighting on this level and at this tempo. In the second round, Mosley got off 47 to 48 punches. That's the pace at which he wants to fight. But when you can't see the target, or you're worried about the counter coming back, it's much harder to release your hands. Don't go, you're going forward, okay? There he goes. Hold that, and you're holding, okay? Here, touch him up, fellas. Touch him up. Kenny Keep Bayless has taken Keep a very active role in the first five rounds of this fight. And the dressing room. No, 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 no. Let him up. Well, as you should, up. it's been a Keep very, basically no, 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 a quiet no, no, no. fight. Keep the head up. It's, it's a, a good sparring session so far. Mayweather, you know, that's one of the two punches he throws with regularity, the left hook and the right cross. Most often they are opportunity punches thrown at openings that the opponent creates for him, but sometimes he will step in and lead. And his timing is so good, and he's so quick, that he lands that way. Like that. No, 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 no. You almost wonder if Mosley damaged his own rhythm and fight plan by landing those two big right hands in the second yes. round. Yes, but I, I don't think so. I think Florida just drawn him into a fight in his pattern of thinking, thinking man's game. And, uh, work out, work out, and, and Shane just lost his own rhythm. 
And he came to Florida, looks way much stronger, much more sturdier, much, much faster than his. And more comfortable. He's right in his comfort zone where he wants to fight. Which is exactly what Shane should have tried to change and not let him what can uncomfortable. he do about it? I don't think he can do anything, to be honest. I think that uh, Mayweather is physically too strong and young for him. I'm surprised. I thought it would be a much more tighter competitive fight, and maybe Shane would have been the physical fighter. Larry's point is quite well taken. When you've been the physically gifted one all your life, it is not easy to look at another man in front of you and say to yourself, oh, I get it. He's faster and he's strong. Make it easy on yourself. Starting to get tired. There ain't no hard fight if you keep boxing this motherfucker like this. Keep boxing. Boxing thinking man's game. Take the hand, double and bang, That's speed. I need that. I need them rapid shots. I don't need them big, that big, heavy stuff. I need one, two, one, two. Take the hand. You know what I'm saying? Same thing we worked on, son. This is what we worked on. Not big. See, you get that big shot off, and you didn't get caught up in the crack with that big shot. That big shot comes down the road. CompuBox totals through round five. Totals. Mayweather, 66 of 162, 41%. Mosley, 46 of 165, 28%. At 165, Mosley is throwing 33 punches per round. That is a Floyd Mayweather pace. you're not that used to seeing. But you know, the, the, the tempo is just where Floyd's favorite punch is at the pullback check, left hook, pulling Mose in and catching him coming in with a pullback hook. Or either his little lunge in left hook where he loads up and springs all the dozer. He very seldom puts combinations together. You don't see Floyd throw no, 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 three, four, five, six shots the way that Sugar Ray Leonard and other fighters did. He'll throw one or two punches because he's always going to be in balance and he want to make sure he's going to be back in the defensive mode if he misses. But well, he's oh, that was a stunning shot from Mayweather right on the button. Again over the left hand, which Shane holds low. Well, as well. But Shane is not holding his left hand up to block it, nor is he rolling the punch either. Just as if he's out of position, fan, if he doesn't, and Miss Jurgis is going to get hit with him. And you may see him get hit with more right hands in the fight go on. Because Floyd is getting closer and closer. He's trying to get closer so he can land the right hand easier. Another stunning right hand by Mayweather and a big left hook. He's landing shots cleanly inside. But, but, you know, Floyd is landing the punches, but he never pushed more than two shots. Very seldom he's going to do. But Shane is coming in and, and committing himself. Better get with him. For whatever reason, his hands seem to be real loose and real rubbery. His punches are not tight and compact. Very loose. And, and the floors are very much more compact and more powerful. Much more body weight. Shane Mosley spent six or seven weeks in the gym training to fight Andre Berto in a fight that was scheduled for January 30 and went by the wayside after the earthquake in Haiti. Then, of course, he got back into the gym in a hurry to get ready for this fight. Is it possible he's overtrained? It's very possible. You, you, your body have to recuperate. You can't just keep in training all the time. Is, is it possible he could have withstood that better if he weren't 38? That's true. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Sr. Waiting in the wings, hoping, some say, 
to train his son again. At the very least, he offers that he's available should his brother Roger, Roger Mayweather Roger. find Roger. himself Roger. as the result of a court trial Roger. next summer in a position Roger. where he might be Roger. away for a while. The rope, just don't get on the rope. Here you see Floyd land typical shots the way he landed short, clean, accurate punches. And the, the closer and closer that he gets to Shane, the more and more he's going to land those punches because his punches are really oh, short as down. compared Let's to go, Shane, which Shane has to have a little bit more Change of an arm that that look into his punches. Full Statistically, Shane. that was his best round for Mayweather. 22 out of 42, high for the fight. 11 out of 16 power shots, that's 70%. Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim, 58. 56, four rounds to two, Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I tell you, he gets off first, he blinds you with that left jab, and then he puts that straight right hand in there like an arrow, hits Mosley on the jaw with it. He really good, nice combination punching. Pilot up a lot of points with that lead right hand. I mean, you know, Mayweather gets off first all the time, and I think that that's what does it in the eyes of the judges. He sort of blinds Mosley, and then he whacks you with a hard right hand. Four to two, Floyd Mayweather. Emmanuel, Shane Mosley's jab does not appear to have had a big effect for him in the fight. No, in fact, he's not I'll, landing I'll, right hands. All anymore. of his punches, it seems like he's not even closing his hand. His punches are too loose. He's doing the jingling, jingling punches, I call them. And Mayweather's got much more power and explosive going. Where's the left hook to the body with which Mosley terrorized opponents in the lightweight division? Is it just impossible to land it against uh, Floyd Mayweather? I think Floyd has just got him into the zone and the pattern that he wants him to fight in, and his stones chain totally off track. And he can't get his rhythm to go on. I'm trying to see where the power shots are. I don't see much power. I just think Floyd is out quicking him and out boxing him. Well, remember, CompuBox calls everything other than a jab a power shot. If it's a hook, if it's a straight right hand, if it's a body punch, if it's an uppercut, it's a power shot. By CompuBox definition, anything other than a jab. because he's found it so easily to hit Mosley with right-hand shots. Yeah, he, he's still a very, very cautious fighter, this still. Oh, no, 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 watch your head, fellas. Mosley redoubling his effort here, trying to throw combinations. What about more right-hand leads, Emmanuel, since the jab isn't working? From Mosley? Yeah. Well, his right hand is better than, than the jab, but all of it is loose. Nothing is really tight and compact where you have his really tight body weight behind it. Time, time! And Shane looks a little bit weary as he goes back to his corner at the end of the seventh. All right, so I'm dropping these rounds, but that's better. You, did, you showed me something a little better. You gotta hit you with this water. You gotta wake up for me out there, Shane. You gotta wake up for me, baby. All right. Can't depend on one big shot. So the hand still got to move. All right, he'll walk into the shot for you if you move the hand. But you got to wake up, see? I tell you, this, this kid's gift is his condition. Got nothing to do with that other stuff. All right? Just this way. Get the towel. Yeah, get the towel. Got to put the water on him because you got to keep him woke. You look like you're fading on me, man. Hold That's the towel. Right. Put, put, Hold right, the towel. Right, right the towel. Hold the towel. Hold the towel. edge in total connects over the course of the last two rounds according to copy box count you heard Nassim Richardson there Emmanuel asking Shane Mosley to wake up and get back in the fight I sense 
that he's already worried about his fighter's ability to withstand the punishment as the fight goes on. I agree, and I'm looking at the expression in his face between rounds. He is not comfortable with the situation. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. And, and Floyd seems that's to be just totally warning. relaxed, cool. No, 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 that's a hard warning, sir. They don't do it. Here we go. Okay, Keep it Kenny clean. Bayless is warning Keep it clean. Shane Mosley Keep it clean. Keep for it clean. simply manhandling Floyd Mayweather. Two fighters are talking to each other. And while Shane's talking, Mayweather hits him with a left hook and a right hand. And Shane's still talking. That's, that's what he should do. I mean, it's, it's not time to have a conversation. Absolutely right. This isn't time to talk. But Mayweather's talking. Along with Mosley, they are chatting with each other in the middle of the ring. You can bet it's not friendly. I, I'm a little surprised. I hate to say this because I never expected this, but Shane is looking his age in this fight. I never thought I would see it this stop, much. Stop, stop. Totally stop, different from the fighter that I saw that fought Margarita. Well, yeah, Margarita Mar 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 may have been his last hurrah. Yeah. Hey, but uh, it's a, but you, can, you can you can stop the clock, but you can't stop time. And, and also, you look at the style of Mayweather. Mayweather's really got him right into fighting his fight. Mayweather, or excuse me, Margarita was big and strong. Mosley was far faster than Margarita. That is not the situation he's looking at tonight. Shane can't have the speed and the coordination of Mayweather. It's that simple, and there's no one particular punch. Right, watch the elbow, watch the elbow. Mayweather is grinning now at our announce table. This is something that happens when he begins to feel as though he's completely in control oh, no, of the fight. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Shane's face tells me he's a defeated man. I mean, I, I think the, uh, the, the spirit and everything is gone. Look out, fellas. Look out. Come on, Most look fans out, look on out. the far side of the ring are standing up. I think that's because look of out, the uh, skirmishes that we've had in this round. The two physical altercations that Kenny Bayless is working with. Well, they're, they're all on edge, I think, thinking that Mayweather's going to knock him out. Incidentally, one of the fans who was standing up over there was Irvin Magic Johnson, and if Irvin is standing, hey! you don't want to have the seat behind him. <laughs> you shake that motherfucker down right now. You got to force the exchange now, Shane, because we got to get him out of here. You can't be doing it. Don't You can't be doing it. But you got to force the exchange. You can't look for breaks. On the break, he's going to fire. On the break, he's going to fire, Shane, every time. He he's pulling you out of, out of the break. He's catching you clean. All right? You're going to have to sit down and force the exchange with this guy. Change your level, man. Walk him out in that stick and fire. Shane, he got a yard in. Well, you see Shane complaining. He gets hit with a right hand by Mayweather. Like he's been getting hit with so many of them each round. Mayweather gets in about two or three good right hand shots. He never puts them together. If he had the meanness of a Tommy Hearns or a Ray Leonard or Duran, he probably would have stopped Shane in that last round. But he still is playing it safe. He doesn't let combinations go with four or five combinations. And Sh Shane should be glad for that too. I think it may be convenient to suggest that this is because Mosley's 38 and he's getting old in the fight. Personally, I don't buy that. A lot of people thought this was a close to even fight, even though the odds were so wide in Mayweather's favor. There were ringsiders who believed that Mosley had a big chance. And I think it, that Floyd it, Mayweather is showing you again that his skill level is different from other people. I was one of those that thought that this would have been a much more tighter competitive fight than this. I know about two or three people who gave Mosley a really no, serious no, 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 no. chance. Well, odds, I was one the, of them. Uh, okay, and the odds accurately reflect the fact that virtually everybody was picking Mayweather. Whether they had an affection for him or not, they were picking Mayweather to win. So I, I don't get that this is something unexpected. I think what is unexpected is that Mayweather has stood his ground he hasn't been just trying to box and get out of the way as he usually does. 
He accurately scouted Shane for not being a pure boxer and is taking advantage of it. Stop, stop, stop. That was a perfect example. Shane, Shane threw about five of them legitimately punches look out, look out, and fought through one little short right hand and did more damage than he had did with about seven look of those little pity pat shots. Stop, stop, stop. Agreed. We got the workout, fellas. Come on, here we go. Heads. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Good left hook by Floyd Mayweather. The right hand brushed across Mosley's face. Mosley missing over the top with the right hand. Hasn't been able to throw that many of them in recent rounds. Uh, what they are are Hale Mosley's. Just not getting there. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Watch your heads, fellas, look out. Stop, stop. Uh, no, 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 no. That's all right, I let me bring, okay? All right, here we go. As this fight out, winds down, more and more people are starting to think about Mayweather and Pacquiao. Buddy, I'm sitting here thinking hey. about her already. Good. Let's go to buy on that bitch this time, okay? Let's go to buy on that motherfucker. Shane Mosley Jr. His dad is working with him in the gym. The new trainer, Nassim Richardson, calls him Spicy Shane Mosley. You, you still got time, Shane, because of what you are. But damn it, you got it. Here you see Floyd Mayweather with a nice counter, short right hand. Roll his shoulder, come back with the counter right hand. Here he comes back with another right hand. Shane doesn't have any defense, and his reflexes are not sharp enough to get away from those right hands. If he could do what Floyd did, roll his shoulders and come back, he may have something going for him, but he has no really good defense and move for all right, any right hands at all. There's another near-perfect round for Mayweather the way he fights. 17 out of 43 for Floyd, 40%. Shane Mosley was counted by CompuBox to have thrown 45 punches in that round, and he landed three. Harold, how do you stop, have it? Stop, 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 stop. 88, 83, seven rounds to two, Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I've got Floyd winning seven rounds in a row. I, I mean, he's just dominating this fight with that hard okay. lead right no hand, problem, no with problem. the left jams. I mean, when the guy gets off first, he kills Shane Mosley. When he gets off first, just like that, he just stops Mosley. But even when he doesn't get off first, he backs up, times him, sets it up, and throws that straight stop, hard stop. right hand. Seven to two, Mayweather. I'm guessing the CompuBox has counted at least 25, maybe 30 Sugar Shane Mosley fights. I'm guessing that in all those fights, you'd be hard pressed to find any other round that was as desultory for him as three out of 45. There's a landed punch for Mosley, and Mayweather comes right back with a counter right hand. Body shot for Mayweather. Mosley ducking and slipping or trying to. The general feeling after the, the negotiation on, with, between out, Mayweather stop, and Pacquiao stop. broke down was that Mayweather had to find a, an opponent that the public and the media and the experts would accept. That if he took a lesser opponent that it would seem he was ducking Pacquiao. And that's why he took Mosley. And he is proving his point right here. Mosley has landed some leather in this round. A couple of right hands, landed a straight left jab there. He just hasn't gotten anything solid on to Mayweather, which might change the momentum of the fight. Never seen Mosley in this kind of peekaboo style. 
Have you? No, I've never saw the expression on his face to have been defeated. He doesn't have any confidence at all as compared to what he's had before in the past. The only thing he's got is a little fire in him that he's always had. If he gets hit, he'll fire right back. watching Mayweather do his thing and wondering whether he's going to consider the possibility of going for a finish. And the referee Kenny Bayless is uh, positioning himself to observe Mosley. Find them hands, Shane. I know you. I know you cut from a different cloth, son. Don't make me do something I don't want to do. You understand me? I need you to get well, damn it, you gotta give me something. You gotta give me something. You're not moving the hands. You dropped off the hands, B. You're gonna have to punch with it. Instead of keep waiting for a spot. You inside looking for a perfect shot. There is none. Move the hands, man. Step over and come back. Say it to me. I'm gonna move the hands, I'm gonna step over and come back. Say it. Move the hands and step over and come back. That's what I need. Then you ain't tired, and I know you ain't that tired if you can repeat it. You can still got it because you got that warrior in you. All right? But damn it, we need it. Off hands, man. Naz Richardson, a desperate performance enhancer at this moment. Well, he's saying the right thing, but there's nothing that Shane can do with this situation too much. He doesn't have the coordination, the power, you know, or anything that can do to be a real problem for Mayweather right now. Mosley's had some late knockouts, notably against Ricardo Mayorga a couple of years ago. Mayweather, Mayweather generally at this moment in the fight is content to continue asserting his dominance. He doesn't judge his record according to how many knockouts outs there are. His thing is to outbox you. And he's done that clearly against Shane Mosley. It's interesting that he's beaten Mosley more in a more dominating way than he than he had with Oscar De La Hoya. Of course, Mosley beat De La Hoya twice, um, and De La Hoya gave Mayweather a better fight. Some people believe De La Hoya won the second fight against Mosley. This group in particular was adamant about it that night, and of course, one difference is. A lot of people say if you want to fight Floyd and you want to have any success at all, there's a right hand by Mayweather. No, then you better start with a great stop, jab. Mosley has never had the really great no, jab, no, right, he Emmanuel? No, he's like a rubber and, wrist. He doesn't have any power in his jab at all. And and to just to follow the point through Larry's comparison, Delahoya did have an excellent yes, jab. Delahoya one of the greatest jabs in boxing. So that's the difference, and maybe that's the reason that Delahoya was not as one-sidedly beaten as Mosley appears to be at this moment. Stop, 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 stop. Here we go. In fact, for about seven rounds, Oscar De La Hoya was in the fight with Floyd Mayweather because of that jab. And it was only when he began missing with the jab and then eventually stopped throwing it that Mayweather took over the fight. Stop, stop, stop. Here, the takeover began in round three after Shane Mosley had some fireworks that lit up the crowd in round two. Well, actually, at the end of the first round, I saw right away that the was going to take over the fight. Even though he'd been hurt that round, I saw he he survived it, and I could just see his coordination, his focus, his eyes, his intensity is way better than Shane is. Another hard right hand by Mayweather. Mosley is swinging and missing. I don't know if he's done what Naz Richardson told him to do, move his head, step over. I haven't seen it, if he's done it. I don't know that I've ever seen a trainer make the fighter verbally repeat the instruction the way Naz did. Time! Well, we're one round away from what would appear to be the 41st consecutive victory of Floyd Mayweather's unbeaten career.
Being the mean, box the shit out of him. Stay behind that stick now. It's down. Keep whooping his ass, but stay behind that stick. Let that motherfucker run into something. Out. out. Last and final round. Touch, Touch good. Yeah. Keep going, get him, Shane. In that tie up, when y'all locked in, when you let that short shot go. Last and final round. Touch good. He using that elbow on his bellies. This is it, baby. In that time, let it go. This is the dog. The bullshit is out now. He got to go. You've done it before. I need it now. This is what warriors do. Well, let's see if Shane Mosley has plan C. In front, in front. Mayweather's round by round winning streak ever since the second round continues on Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. Up, up, bring him up, bring him up, Shane. Left hook to the body. I've been looking for it all night. Shane Mosley finally threw one. Stop, stop, stop! Heads, heads, fellas, watch the heads. Good left hook by Mayweather. Mosley had to hold on for a moment. Mayweather was able to get in a shaft of her right hand, too. Stop, stop, stop that. Here we go, here we go, fellas. Come on, work out, work out, work out. Stop, 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 stop. Another left hook to the no, body no, by no, Mosley. No, 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 let him up, let him up. Oh, step back, step back. Work out, work out, fellas. Come on, work out. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, fellas, stop the wrestling. Come on, now, let's go, let's go. So you have to assume that once this is over, all the talk will be about the subject we spent the first part of the year discussing, or the latter part of last year discussing, and that's Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. The difference would be speed. Well, Pacquiao's pretty fast himself. That's the point. Obviously. Is he faster than Floyd? That's the, that's the question going into that fight. Ever since the moment in 1992, when Vernon Forrest upended him in the Olympic stop, trials stop, stop, stop. and prevented Shane Mosley from going to the Barcelona Olympics where he was expected to be shoulder to shoulder as a star with Oscar De La Hoya. Shane Mosley has been fighting for recognition, fighting for singularity, fighting stop, stop. to try to get the public to see him as the star which many people in boxing saw him as. This was the chance, this was the forum. Work but out, the question now, did it just come too late? Or is it a situation where Shane Mosley, like fellas. every other one of the opponents who preceded him, no discovers holding, no that holding. Floyd Mayweather's skill level, Floyd Mayweather's conditioning, Floyd Mayweather's application to the sport is at this moment unique. And he stands alone. Floyd, Shane Mosley's body of work over 18 years will stand the test of time. Tonight it could not stand against a younger, better fighter. How you feel? A warm moment for Mosley with a couple of members of Mayweather's corner, Nate Jones and Leonard Ellerby. Floyd, for his part, looking relaxed. Collected and really not even winded. No, it, was, it wasn't even really a tough gym workout for the most part. That's how good yeah, he is. After the first round, he was, he was at ease, totally in control, and thank God that he was he's not a really aggressive guy, because if he had, he would have knocked Shane out. It just the fact that he wouldn't commit too much. He only throws one or two shots. But if he just sat down and shot five or six, seven shots, it would have been over with. Let's take a look at a string of highlights from throughout the fight and 
it's something of a one note tune with the exception of the second round. So in case somehow you joined us late, let's take a look back. First round was a war of nerves, not much happened. Shane Mosley landed that big right hand in the second round and Mayweather immediately grabbed the right hand. Then when Mosley landed a second right hand, watch Mayweather's front knee buckle. And at that moment, the crowd went wild, thinking that Shane Mosley was proving that he had a big chance in the fight. But in rounds three and four, Mayweather stepped up and made the point emphatically that round two was an anomaly. And the pattern of the fight would be the same movie we've seen several times before. The faster, more well-coordinated fighter using his defense to frustrate the opponent and using his rapid punching offensive skill to land when he wants to. Throwing only when he wants to, not trading, boxing, selecting, dictating, managing, and ruling the fight against Shane Mosley. He won every round from the second round on, at least by our lights. Now let's go to Michael Buffer with the scores. From the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Adelaide Bird and Dave Moretti score the belt 119, 109. Robert Hoyle, 118 to 110. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated, Floyd. Money! Final copy box numbers will reflect Mayweather's dominance. Landing 106 punches more, throwing 25 more, more than doubling Shane Mosley's connect percentage. Another technical mismatch. Who knew? Total power punches, Mayweather landing 77 more, throwing 108 more, and nearly doubling Mosley's connect percentage. Punch Zone will show you Floyd Mayweather's unusual mixture as he lands only 17 body shots very careful about selecting those body shots he never wants to put himself in be in the position of being countered by something upstairs he throws most of his punches at the head the left hook 39 times the right cross 152 times it's an amazing rate of accuracy and Larry Merchant stands by with the winner thank you very much Jim congratulations Floyd why did you turn yourself from a defensive wizard into an offensive force tonight? Well, I, I wanted to get a fans, you know, what they wanted to see. Wanted to see. They wanted to see a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Fans didn't want to see me moving. Fans wanted to see me coming forward. So, you know, that's what we did tonight. But first, I must thank God, because without God, this victory wouldn't be possible. What did you see in Shane Mosley that made you think you could fight that fight? Um, just going over the game plan with my dad, you know, my dad and my Uncle Roger was at home, you know, watching uh, videotapes of Shane Mosley. You know, I don't watch tapes of uh, no opponent that I face. So my ultimate goal was to, you know, uh, box early, then start pressing the attack uh, later on in the fight. What especially could do, do you think you could exploit in his armor? I think that, um, I think that we should have pressed the attack a lot earlier, and then we, we could have got the knockout. But Shane Mosley is, is a tough customer, and... Um, He's one hell of a fighter, what else can I say? He appeared to, if not hurt you, stun you a bit in the second round, were you? Well, that comes with the territory in boxing. You know, only the strong survive. I mean, um, this, of course, this is a contact sport. I mean, sometimes you're gonna get hit with big shots. You must suck it up and keep fighting hard like a warrior. Do you feel any different in fighting this type of fight than your normal? Well, I was, you know, I'm, just, I'm happy that um, me and Shane had a chance to fight. You know, it's a part of history. He's a future Hall of Famer. I'm a future Hall of Famer. And, you know, we had to get the fans all over the world uh, this fight. They deserve it. It was a pretty one-sided fight, so let's go to the next business at hand. <laughs> Do you believe that you can find a compromise to make a deal to fight the fight everyone wants to see with Manny Pacquiao? Um, I mean, if, if, if uh, Manny Pacquiao wants to fight, I mean, it's not hard to find me. 
I mean, we, try, we, we was going to make this fight happen um, um, a couple months back. We, we weren't able to make the fight happen, so we move on. Well, if, is, the, is the issue of the blood testing such a strong issue in your mind that if he doesn't bend to your will as Shane Mosley did, does that mean that there's no other way to make the fight? I take my head off to Mosley. Mosley was a, a, was a warrior because, you know, um, you know, Mosley had problems in the past, but he's a, he's a strong man. He, he, he done what I asked him to do. He took the blood and the urine test. All, all I want to do is be on even playing field. So if every athlete in the sport of boxing is clean, take the test. I'm willing to take the test. It's Pacquiao's position that he will do whatever the commission says. The well, commission has indicated that they might be flexible and maybe in changing some of their rules, but not necessarily all the way that you want. Does that mean essentially that you're going to be at loggerheads and that the fight can't be made? I mean, like I said before, if Manny Pacquiao take the blood and the urine test, we can make the fight happen for all the fans. And if he doesn't? We don't got no fight. Are you satisfied that finally you fought one of the toughest guys out there? Since you, since you fought De La Hoya, you had fought two smaller fighters with big followings that made a lot of money. But you've been heavily criticized by me, among others, for not taking on the biggest and strongest well, guys. Everybody's so, entitled. so how satisfying is it for you now after this kind of win? Well, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Only thing I want to do is continue to go out there and fight the best that they got out there. If it's, if it's Shane Mosley, I'll fight Mosley. If it's Pacquiao, then I'll fight Pacquiao. Only thing I'm saying is Floyd Mayweather want to fight these fighters on an even playing field. That's all I ask. I just want to be treated fair. So you think that they're all taking performance-enhancing drugs? I, I never said that. I said I want, to, I want to be on an even playing field. That's all I ask. Thank you. Congratulations Thank on you. an outstanding fight. Good job, you, you have a fighter. You're talking about fighter. All right, Shane, um, he neutralized virtually everything you could do. Why? Uh, you know, I think after when I when I, when I caught him with the, the big right hand, I might have started loading up a little bit too much. I played into his hands, and um, I couldn't. I, I tried to bounce around, move around to get to knock it off of me, but it just I was just too tight. I started getting tight, and I couldn't throw a number of big shots. So, Shane, you've been a professional fighter for 18 years. Why are you tight in a fight like this? Uh, I think, like I said, when I when I when I, when I hit him with the big right hand, I said, okay, I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna get that knockout uh, sooner or later. And he started being able to avoid uh, the punches. All right, so, okay, after a few rounds, certainly, you can see that, that, y that you got to go to plan B. Yeah, no, but Was I, I he just too good? Did he just surprise you by standing at arm's length and challenging you and beating you to the punch? No, he did surprise me. I kind of figured that he was going to try to do something like that if he can, once he tried to uh, get my timing, but I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't adjust, and he adjusted, and uh, that's why he won the fight. You virtually begged for this kind of fight. What are your feelings now after losing so decisively? Well, I'm happy that I took the fight, and I'm happy that he gave me the fight. He gave me the opportunity. Uh, he showed that he's a, a true champion, and, um, you know, now you guys can get a chance to see uh, him and Manny. Well, if Manny takes the blood test, you can see him and Manny Pacquiao get it on. Are we going to see you in the ring again in the boxing gear? Well, you know, I have to go back home and, you know, check out the tape and see what, what happened and what was going on. Um, but we'll see, you know, um, I'm, I'm just trying to take it slow, see, you know, what, what goes on, and uh, I'll take it from there when I get home, I know. Thank you. You've had a great career, Shane. Thank you. I appreciate it there. Jim. Classy man. He's not going to like the tape. I'll tell you, Emmanuel, I'm beginning to wonder, as great as Pacquiao is, I'm not sure there's a logical formula for beating Floyd Mayweather. It's the natural tendency of everyone in the sport, including Mosley, including Pacquiao, to throw many more punches than Floyd does. And in doing so, they're going to create opportunities for him to counter. And he's so precise and so disciplined about limiting your opportunities by throwing as few punches as he does. Again, I'm not sure what the formula is to beat him. Well, also, when you take into consideration, his, he surprised me tonight with his physical strength. He looked very physical tonight, very strong. And that's going to be a factor because he's a big guy. I hate to say that compared to the Tommy Hearns and the Lennison, but for this era, he's a big guy. He looked very strong, well coordinated. And Manny Pacquiao is fast, good, but still, he's still a small guy. And I think that Floyd would be able to control him, I think, because of the size and the skill that he has. 
the combination of both of them may be a little too much for Manny. Manny will fight his heart off, heart out, but if you're not hitting anything, is there it any makes other a logical fight for, for Mayweather besides Pacquiao? Is there anybody else well, that you can see? No, him I think he did tonight what was asked of him. The most logical guy for him to fight that I could think of would have been what he fought tonight. And that was a guy named Shane Mosley. Other than that, you'd probably have to go to maybe a junior middle or something up there. You got some of those guys up there. Maybe Martinez may go back to that, and you got Paul Williams or something like that. But right now, he did what was asked of him. He fought a well to weight, which was considered the best, I think, that was available. And he beat him very easily. I give him credit for moving up to 147. I certainly don't see that there's any mandate for him to have to go to 154 to prove anything else at that point. Is there any other fight that interests you, Larry, besides Manny Pacquiao? I haven't given it serious thought. I don't see anybody out there, but sometimes if a fighter performs as well as as he did tonight, then the point becomes to watch him. Yeah. If if he turns himself into from an artful dodger into an artful warrior, then that's that's okay. Then a one-sided fight is all right. I used the term artful dodger earlier tonight. The artful dodger is a character created by Charles Dickens and uh, to name tonight the artful Dodger um, beat the Dickens out of a happier warrior and answered a lot of the questions out there about him. You wonder why he hasn't fought the tougher challengers that he's bypassed over the last several years. Uh, but now that he has um, whatever he wants to do next he can do. But I think he's uh, his position that he's got to have the kind of international uh, drug testing or else he won't fight uh, Manny Pacquiao for 30 or 40 or 50 million dollars is is boggling. And uh, I was wrong the first time. I didn't see any way the fight could be made. And I still think there's no way the fight can't be made. <laughs> Incidentally, I, uh, I admire your courage in trying to get involved in the drug testing negotiation. You know, a lot of strong men have been turned weak by that so far. So uh, we'll see where all that goes. The story remains Floyd Mayweather. 41 wins, no losses, and these are not close fights. These are not situations where his dominance is in some way being challenged. Thus, the enormous public desire to see Manny Pacquiao fight him, because frankly, there does not appear to be another ship on the horizon. For the moment, Floyd Mayweather is sailing free with only the Filipino frigate somewhere close to him. We'll see if it ever takes place. Meanwhile, thanks for being with us tonight. Mayweather versus Mosley has been brought to you by MGM Grand, City of Entertainment in Las Vegas. Cerveza Tecate, Con Caracter, AT&T, Rethink Possible, DeWalt, Guaranteed Tough, StubHub, where fans buy and sell tickets, sellers get the or set the ticket price, Iron Man 2, in theaters May 7, and by HBO Pay-Per-View, the best in pay-per-view entertainment, brought to you by HBO. We'd also like to thank the following internet partners. Plus, you can get exclusive updates from HBO's Facebook and Twitter sites, and as always at HBO.com, the online home of HBO Boxing. And now for our entire crew, I'm Jim Lampley, saying so long from Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs>